Hi, I'm Jeff Kahn. I am the writer of uh, Red Spike from Image Comics and Benaroya Publishing. Initially, Michael Benaroya uh, came to me with an idea for an ad adrenalized super soldier wh who eventually became Matt Cutler in Red Spike. So his initial concept was with a super soldier uh, like Matt, and we kicked around some various ideas, and I wrote you know various stories and and played with it, and then ultimately, when we finally decided to do the comic, I uh, incorporated Greg into the comic and sort of came up with an origin story for the whole program. So we worked together on building the comic that came out, but initially, the singular character of Matt was definitely Mike's idea, and then sort of I expanded the world out, and uh, ultimately, we got Red Spike. Red Spike is a espionage super soldier program. There are two guys who made the cut, Matt and Greg, and basically what the program has done is it's put uh, implants in their brain and on their adrenal glands so that they can use uh, adrenaline at will, massive amounts of it. They can just uh, manufacture more than the normal human and they can distribute it. So let's say that he decides that he has to lift a car up. He can think it and then get the adrenaline flowing to do it. Um, so it, affects, it basically makes your fight or flight uh, response happen on cue with like to the 10th power of a normal human. So those two guys, Matt and Greg, that's what's going on. That, they have that in them. Uh, the other characters are we have Colonel Moyer, who is sort of the military head of the program. We have uh, Mr. Coughlin, who is sort of on the outskirts in the shadows, an espionage uh, guy. There's Dr. Fairfield and Dr. Downey, who are two doctors on the program. Fairfield's the head of science, and Downey is sort of a psychologist, psychiatrist on the program, who is also uh, dating Greg. Um, and those are, those are the main characters. What really appeals to me about a lot of the comics that I find myself reading are these very conflicted and dark uh, hero-type characters, which I feel Greg sort of fills the role of in Red Spike. Um, even though he might not be the hero of the series, uh, he's definitely initially conceived of by the program as a hero, and then his personality sort of gets in the way of that. So I find myself reading a lot of uh, Punisher Max. I really like that one. Um, I find myself reading Sleeper, where you have a character who he's a good guy, but he's a bad guy, and you're not really sure what side he ends up on. Um, and just things where the heroes aren't straight good guys. Uh, you know, where Matt sort of fills that role. Uh, to me, characters like Greg often are the ones that I'm most attracted to, either in writing or in reading, because there's just a lot going on under the surface. And sort of the pull between their natural dark urges and their uh, conscious desire to do good or the fact that they have, you know, the ability to love someone makes for an interesting uh, pull inside of a character. And that's what I feel really allows people to like and connect with characters and to care for, uh, to care for them and to care what happens to them.